All right, Harvard. Harvard? We're on the wrong podcast. You're bringing this up. Uh, Harvard. H-A-R-V-A-R-D. Harvard. Bill, was listening to Anything Better podcast and heard you talk about how nice it must be. Nice it must say you're from Harvard. Not from Harvard. You went to Harvard in a disagreement. Um, This person said, I graduated from Harvard eight years ago and can tell you 100% that there are a lot of morons who go to Harvard. Oh, I love hearing that. Did you ever just say to yourself when you were there, like, I am at the college in the United States. Everybody knows it. It is. Even if there's smarter people elsewhere, it's Harvard. Where did you go to college? Harvard. That's unreal. Listen, even as a fucking meathead, I can't hate on that place. You got that Roman Coliseum. You know, where your five foot eight offensive guard blocks for your fucking five foot six quarterback. Um, they have the ability, anyway, they have the ability to understand. Where am I? I, mean, I fucked up. There are a lot of morons who go to Harvard. They have the ability to understand really complex systems of math and science, but when it comes to anything outside of those, those fields, they're just idiots. Well, yeah, I mean, some's going to suffer if, you, if you're. If you got the beautiful mind there, right? Like Matt Damon did in that movie. You know, you're not going to have any social skills, although he did, right? He was pretty good picking up the chicks. Whatever, it was a fucking movie. I still like that movie, but... Um, yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're too busy trying to figure out how much liquid is in a cylinder, aren't they? Anyway, Harvard Business School is a great prep for life if you're going to work for companies that have the same agenda as as Harvard, which boils down to this. Harvard graduates who run large companies and hold high government positions are always looking for more Harvard grads to 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 come do things the way they are doing them. Oh, wow. So it's like an Ivy League mafia. I've heard about this. I've heard about this. Well, that, you know, I went to Emerson College. People out here at Emerson hook each other up. Why can't you guys carve up the fucking world? Well, us Emerson people uh, write skits. (laughs) Anyway, (coughs) if it makes money and doesn't disturb their status quo, it has a chance. All right, let's just stop doing my jokes here and just read this so you guys can hear. Okay, Harvard graduates who run large companies and hold high government positions are always looking for more Harvard grads to come do things the way they are doing them. Um, Having a new... Or original idea is not pra- praised unless it's, unless it's made money. If it makes money and doesn't disturb their status quo, it has a chance. My wife went to a, quote, regular four-year school and is light years ahead of my c- colleagues in the same field. Getting into Harvard is harder than graduating. Well, that's kind of what I was saying, but, like, I wish you, uh, you kind of elaborated more on what, how, in what way is your, is your wife light years ahead. Uh, Never, and I mean never, think someone from Harvard knows more than you about anything just because they went there. Uh, I I mean, I I never really thought that, but I did respect it. I mean, it's not like you're not smart. You had to get in there. Unless your dad went there and you're some dope. I get that. If you're, what do they call that? You're a a lineage. What is that? Uh, I'm a a legacy. I'm a fucking, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ivy League schools are the greatest farce in education. Jesus Christ, dude. Did you have any fun at this fucking school? I mean, you get killed. It's just like I said, I believe in Santa Claus. You're like, ah, it's just some fat plumber in a robe. Um, it's like saying, well, they were on SNL, so they must be funnier than me. What do you mean? Like, like me saying that or you saying that? I'm a stand-up comedian, so I think I can hold my own because we're both doing the same thing. But, I, I, you know, before I was a comedian, or for a long time, I thought everyone at SNL was funnier than me. I'm not saying they're not still funnier than me. But I, what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you shitting on SNL for? Anyway, no, SNL is an institution, and it helps to be on it, but you are absolutely funnier than a lot of people whose names have been forgotten from that show. No shade to SNL. As you throw it under the bus, 
Just needed an example. All right. Um, all right. Well, I think what you're saying, you can kind of say that about a lot of shit. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm not going to debate you. You went there. But I, I, I would say this. Can you have, a, like, a little more pride that you went there just so, you know, a guy like me can still hold it up high in my fantasy of what it is? I just look at the buildings and all of that shit. I just remember just seeing it. It's like, this is like something I'm never going to experience. Like, this is just... <laughs> Fuck, I wish I tried in high school, you know? Like that, would, like if I tried, it would have turned it around anymore. It's amazing. I mean, I, I think... Whatever. I mean, someone's got to run the country. Why not be you guys? And as far as what you're saying about how Harvard people think, people in showbiz think the same way when it comes to money on, on the other side of the desk. It's like, we're not going to try some new shit and, all, and risk all of our fucking jobs. We're just going to keep, like, whatever's in right now. That's why they keep making these superhero movies, because they're fucking working. People keep going to see them. They will make those for the rest of time, for the rest of time until people stop going to see them. Like, remember, they, remember they just came making all those vampire and werewolf movies for a while? In the 80s, they had all those action movies. There's always, like, something that is a big hit, and then they just keep ripping it off, ripping it off, ripping it off until they just, you know, kind of dies on the vine. Um, that is pretty fascinating to me, though, though. But I will say this, still, yet, yeah, even though all the stuff you said about Harvard still must have been great, I think that's... Here's, like, my top schools that I, if I studied, I wished I, I like, I went to. Just, and I'm just basing all of these on the campuses. All right? All right, Harvard. Um, yeah, all, the, all the fucking Ivy League schools. They always look amazing, yet sort of creepy. I did a few of those schools. I just always remembered, like... It's just so, so, you know, you walk in and you just feel people being like, ew. <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing here? Um, uh, University of North Carolina. Beautiful campus. Uh, it's another one. UCLA. Uh, Stanford. It's another one. Then there's some that I went to that I'm actually fans of the football program. But, you know, but I'm not into the school. Like, University of Michigan? Jesus Christ. It's a fucking city. All these college gigs I did, and I can't even remember the ones that I liked. Georgetown. I am a fucking elitist snob. Listen to me. Just rolling through these here. Uh, UMass Amherst? No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wow, I was going way back in the fucking bin for those, trying to remember those. I think I did more college gigs. More nights at college gigs than I actually was in college. I mean, granted, I commuted. I used to do those fucking things all the goddamn time. Get like a college agent. They just route you through the whole... My college agent was out in the Midwest and just fucking send you through all of that shit out there. All of that land. And it was always like in the wintertime and all the crops were cut down. It was fucking freezing cold out, man. Um, it just always ended up in Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, and South Dakota. Minnesota. Oh, Jesus. Fucking brutal. Brutal. That little, dre you know, that quadrant right there. Wisconsin always gave me hope. You know, Illinois wasn't bad. As long as you were near Chicago. You know, at least you knew, like, I, I, I'm a, definitely a city guy. You're fucking going out to those goddamn places. I, remember it was, what was, I think it was on the 29. I can still remember the roads. Some fucking road. 35 is the one that goes up from Dallas all the way up. I, I want to say to Minneapolis. There's the one just west of that, and the numbers go down, right? Starts with the five, 
And they're all odd numbered if they go north, south, and even if they go east, west. That's how I'd figure out if I, you know, back in the day when you had a fucking map rather than Google Maps. Um, all right, I'm babbling here. 